Yeah, there they are. And they seem to be hearing my motors. They probably swam there because of Scout, right? Holy shit. Oh! Oh, oh, oh my crap, that scared me. <laughs> Careful. Did we enter another space? I think they heard my scouts. That's what happened last time. And that's why they were standing there. Most likely. What are those big boys eating? That's what I'm wondering. Oh my god, I'm so scared. I'm like, is that a thorn or a fish? forgetting to breathe okay okay little <gasps> the hell calm down wait am i outside how <sighs> oh jeez Oh my heart. No, no, don't. Don't, don't, don't. Mm. No. Uh, mm. Oh my god, it numbed on me. It just numbed, num 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 on me. Okay. Come on, pick me up. This for sure ain't fucking funny anymore. So I shouldn't go through the red ones? Not the red ones? Through the red- have time. This is no joke. Maybe for my sanity's sake, I would want to look into something else. Can I repair you? No. Where is that then? Electrical? In the back? No. What do you want me to do? Prepare then?
Can I please? Thanks. Come on. Oh, okay. All right. Right, so I don't want to go through the red one, I want to go through the white one. But them freaking fishes, yeah sure, I know they're blind, but they are they can still sense me. And if I'm close enough to them, they eat me. And if I do this, they hear me. So basically book it or don't move move. Okay, a green one. No fishy, please. They should have given us a pew pew. Would have loved to shoot those fishes. Could you imagine the trophies on the wall? Don't tell me we're just back here. Is that the seed? That's the seeds. Okay, well. I really don't like this planet. Okay, sorry. I really don't like the scraps of this planet. <laughs> okay, so first is through a red one. And then the second one is not. So scared with all those lights. Are you kidding? Was that, what the heck was that? He was literally at the entrance. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. I don't want to, mommy. I want to go home. I didn't like that very much. Oh my god. Ah, uh, you know what? It is. It is what it is. Oh my god. So basically, he put me. Yeah, I know. Everything is broken. Everything is broken! I can't even match it. Oh. You just want to go inside, huh? No. <laughs> Matching didn't work. Nothing worked. Oh my god. Boom. Alright, so... I feel like I'm always beginning with that. Alright, so... We did learn a lot. I mean, more. Which is good. Um, But I need to take a break from that Dark Bramble thing. That just had me really annoyed. Like, super annoyed that I could- uh, Yeah, I get it, They're, they are blind, but they can hear extremely well and they're just there. That dude was just literally at the freaking entrance. How am I supposed to- what? How? Hmm. Hmm. I couldn't do anything, it just pushed me out. Whatever. One of three Nomai escape pods that crashed in our solar system, all three escape pods were launched from something called the vessel, which was badly damaged. The survivors from Escape Pod 3 detected two distinct beacons from the vessel as if it was in two locations at once. Yeah. The survivors from Escape Pod 3 followed one... The survivors from Escape Pod 3 followed one of the two vessel's beacons to a small dark bramble seed where they could go no further. That's just sad. The Nomai could faintly hear the vessel's beacon from within the seed, but the opening was too small for a single Nomai to fit through, much less an escape pod. The vessel's beacon was dying and would soon be gone completely. If I launch my scout into the seed, I can take a photo of an enormous del uh, derelict Nomai ship. Yeah. 
I launched my scout into the sea at the Nomai grave and took a photo of an enormous derelict Nomai ship. Yeah. Look, guys, we don't have a lot of question marks left. Do we have this Ashwin project? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We could go there. Mm. And check out... I want to check out the Ash Twin, not the Ember Twin. Because uh, we for sure did not check out all of those teleportation uh, towers. Like, there was one that was... To Timber Hearth, but that's just gonna give us more information on the times it took to teleport there, right? So it doesn't give us very much right now. But, um, hmm. Look at the sun station. That is cool. That is so cool. <laughs> but it's okay, so, hmm. <laughs> Very nice. So they wanted to pollute the sun. Why? Why did they want to... Why did they want that to happen? We need to be able to get in. Right? Match. Bonk. Hmm. Because we have... Let me see. Yeah, we have this. And we went through this one. And then we had some broken here. And then that was Timber Hearth. And then it was... Um... Well, one of them went to Ember Twin. Hmm. Didn't they say like six or seven TP points? Well, they had to transport the material somehow. So the only way in to Ash Twin Project would have to be a teleport, right? That's how it feels like. And when we went and we had into one of them, we teleported over to... to yonder. Hmm. But they must have been able to teleport back to Ash Twin too, right? That's how I'm thinking. We will... We will look into those towers more. I feel like... That would be the only logical way to get inside. Mm. And I'm sure we're gonna learn a lot there. Things are just gonna... Fall more and more into place, I feel. Right? Really, what I have left now on my list is get inside the Ash Twin project. And go get through the past the fishes. Because they suck. It's almost like it would have been even more difficult for them to notice me if I were just me and not the ship. <laughs> Okay, so here's you guys. I don't know. Did you have TPs? I don't remember. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, and the broken one. I think... Look at that. That's so satisfying how the sand is just evenly going down. It's not even just like... Yeah, a little. It's a perfect vacuum. Oop. 
Let's just hide under here. Just in case. You wouldn't be able to stand on this sand, logically. Because of how the way is just evenly falling. That means it's perfectly non-densed. Look at that, the glitter. Wow, that's so cool. Um, which simply means that you would get instantly stuck. Like, instantly. Right away. Because I used this one that was not broken. And I managed to teleport. Oh shoot, there's a the sand. Oh no, I'm under a... that's fine. But so, if I stand in there, I'll get hit by the sand, or pulled up by the sand. But that would be... in between the bodies, right? I don't know. It's gonna be another part I cut out, because I'm silly. Oh, that's why it looks so... Okay. There's three. There is three. There's three. Oh, no, wait. 14 minutes until end of cycle. 14 minutes until end of cycle transmission. Mask received data from... Oh, it's the probal tracking module, right. Giant's Deep Memory Statue, Timber Hearth Memory Statue. So it is just me, Gabra, and that statue. Eight minutes and 22 seconds ago, received data from previous cycles. <gasps> what the f- <gasps> Wow! <laughs> oh. Today we finished the e excavation of Ash Twin. Here in the spa this space we carved we will craft our most ambitious project yet, the Ash Twin project, powerful enough to send information back in time. We've also finished relocating all the subterranean plants we met while digging. Wow. We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiment at the High Energy Lab. Yeah. I still can hardly believe Rami's hypothesis was true. Pocky just sent the black the, the warp core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ashtwin can be connected with Giant Steep. Rakasava is working with Avens to craft the orbital probe cannon and where Flox is sculpting the memory statues. Hyp hypothesis. This was not by accident. The core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis. The cores could have been forged faster if Kasanda Kasava had uh, interrupted my work less frequently for to ask for updates. And the important point is we are all connected through Ash Twin now. And also that I am no longer needed for medi mediating your disagreements. Yes, very good. Gosh. Our friends on Giant's Deep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mallow tells me the cannon is doing well and that Avens advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avens can. But then, if anyone can go out a device uh, into exploding, that too is likely Avens. Perhaps I should check in with the orbital probe cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help if uh, to remind Avens that Mallow, his love, will be one of the Namai aboard the cannon, or is Mallow part of the problem? <laughs> 
Flox and Daz finished the memory statues today and they are truly remarkable. When the Ashwim project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Pi and Idea have worked hard on the sun station and is the last and it at last is complete. If everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt the sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power for the Ash Twin project requires. I'm impressed by the men by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin projects. Okay, so the splooting sun activated it. It was supposed to be activated on the controlled environment through the sun station, but it didn't, so they reached the end of the cycle for the sun, and that triggered this. Here is what will happen. First, the sun station will receive the order to fire at the sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin project will send the order to the orbital cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the sun station will again... Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the sun station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ashwin project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle. We can end this cycle at will. These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. Suppose we redesign the sun station. To generate power of that magnitude, the supernova is still our only viable option. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. This is easier expressed than accomplished. Yeah. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if, if you prefer idea, but you'll uh, need to find some way to halt our aging process. Mm. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ashwin project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for the moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system and we're anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored something new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine the knowledge might be gained there. Or death. We've installed the masks inside the Ashwin project flocks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I am being observed. It is comforting to know that the statue will not pair until the project succeeds, otherwise I imagine... Yeah, and we've read this. Ideally, they'd only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure, however. The statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ashwin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, we've read that. My gratitude for the latest shipment, o Ueno. This ore should come last, yeah. This is exciting news. Can I offer extra set of eyes? Yeah, we read this. I'm grateful if you would, the more I see, yeah. Once we finish the shell, it will seal off, yeah. Holy crap. I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber. I think this is where it's... Yeah, Pokey said it's not... It's not ready and they should ignore. Oh my god, look at that. Artificial. <laughs> I think I want it on. Come here, ball. You're going up. In. No. 
Don't you dare. What? Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin Project. You're about to access the core while the Ash Twin Project is active. I don't think I want to do that. Right. Why would I do that though? Then it will all be over. I would just die. That would be one of the endings, I guess. I don't. I don't think. I don't. I don't think. I don't think that's. A, I don't. Uh, I don't think that's a very good idea. Right now. I don't. I don't think I want to do that right now. Yeah. Hmm. I don't... I don't think I want to do that right now because I wouldn't know how to... How would I... What's the... La because it would be just the, the last cycle or something, right? Is this why you died? Of complete shock? I don't know what to say. I think I... I think I understand now what I have to do. But I need a way to... get to the eye, right? Through the moon? No, that's just guesswork. Oh, hi, ship! Hi! How nice of you to just drop on by. Lovely. Guys, I'm... So... <sighs> okay, so, wait. Hmm. Now... So they made... Uh, okay, in what end do I begin? They came here looking for the eye. The closest they ever could, could ever come to it was the sixth location with the moon. The moon is sort of mimicking the... planet it's closest to so it became very important to them right and so they still tried to locate the eye that still became the obsession but they were more accepting of the fact that it was just sort of randomly shooting out the signal because they couldn't they couldn't find the signal again right so Oh, so they... They tried to find other way to locate it. And their idea was to basically... Repeat 22 minutes. And go back in time... Using negative time interval. So they needed the energy from the sun to be able to power the Ashtwin project which was sending information from the probe from the probe module to the Ashtwin project. Was it not meant for humans or I mean for humanoids or did they, is that just how they tested it first? Because they started asking some philosophical questions about sending back the memories and sending back the actual being. But so it didn't work. The sun station was supposed to trigger the supernova many, many time, long, long time ago. But it didn't work. 
So now when it comes to this natural end, it triggers the sun station, which triggers the Ash Twin project, which triggered the 22 minute loop, which triggers the cannon to shoot, which have probably been shooting for a long time, but not with enough energy. And now it had enough energy to locate it. The location, the sixth location, which should not be changing between each cycle. That would be weird. But so, I have to turn it off? But if I just turn it off and then nothing, I will, we will just all die. That's it. That's the end of the universe. Since all of the stars are plodding, right? I guess I have to find the vessel, right? Yeah, I think so. A holodot chamber inside Ash Twin. The energy cables from the surface are plugged plugged into a protective casing at the center of the planet. Uh, there are eight monoliths with monomai masks attached. Three of the masks are actively receiving data from the probe tracking module Giant Steep and Tim Timber Heart, respectively. Um, so they weren't supposed to be tracked to us. It's supposed to be tracked to the planet? Hmm. The Atrium project was designed to use energy from a supernova triggered by the Sun Station to send probe data from the orbital can probe cannon 22 minutes into the past. The Sun Station did not work. Although the Atrium project was theoretically sound, the Nomai were unable to power it. There is an advanced warp core inside the pro uh, of the protective casing at the center of the planet. Removing the core will disable the Atrium project. Hmm. To send the probe data. I'm not sure I understand how that loop was supposed to work. They they plan to leave this solar system before this the they set the sun into supernova. Designed to use the energy from a supernova, yeah. To send the probe data back into orbital. 22 minutes into the past. So, how are they planning on retrieving this information from the Ashwin project? Well, they, I guess there were more masks, so maybe they were supposed to be more places. So, were the Ash Twin project or the Ash Twin core supposed to survive the supernova like a black box? Because once they have triggered it, it plodes. That will give the orbital probe cannon enough power to shoot it. No, that's gonna give it to 22 minutes into the past. So it can send it without problems. But they can't send it into the past without the supernova. So were they thinking that only the data would be sent past? So only the things are inside the, the... No... Is everything else happening still? Everything around us is still... Things still moving on the planets and stuff that doesn't have a memory... Stone... Or if we would, for example, go back to the seed now on Timber Hearth... Would that, would, ha would that have progressed further? Each time? So it's still going... But then nobody else remembers this, right? Designed to use the energy from the... Yeah... There were eight... Monoliths... Three of the masks are active receiving from the probe tracking module, Giant Steep and Timber Hearth. Hmm. So they just need the supernova to be able to send the information back. So the supernova was supposed to go into... Into... Yeah, into the Ash Twin project. Hmm. 
debris produced a temporary anomaly first observed with the Whitehall station. The anomaly discovered that they could increase the negative time interval between the arrival and departure by adding energy to the warp course. The Namai wanted to know if a 22 minute negative time interval was possible. They concluded it would require a new technology to produce the necessary energy as well as an advanced warp core to handle those energies. Ashwin was supposed to uh, was proposed as a location for the project. So if I remove the warp core then the cycle would end and the star would literally and really explode. So the question here though is if I do that we're not stuck in this miserable loop anymore, which I guess is very good for our little main protagonist, but... What does that give us? It's just an ending, right? Then what was the point of everything else? So they couldn't trigger the sun station, and then suddenly they were just attacked by... This... This piece of shite. Which I'm guessing is the ghost matter, since that was just covered everywhere. And they didn't have time to stop it. I need to go into... Oh wait, did I read this? Ha. Felsper documented their attempt to eat this enormous jellyfish frozen in the ice. The outside was all rubbery and tough, possibly because it... Uh, insulates the jellyfish insides from getting sapped by electricity. Felspar decided to venture into the jellyfish interior cavity to see if it tasted any better from the from the inside. After tasting the inside of the jelly, Felspar concluded that these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. You know, I don't think it's different every time. I just think it keeps going, but it did receive and send the previous data. I'd, hmm. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. This That's the location, so... Hmm. I don't think that would change with each cycle, because... Then that would make the whole experiment completely and utterly pointless. Okay, so if I'm thinking back, like, how, how they want to perform this experiment, right? How... So, it, in a controlled environment, if they send the signal from the sun station to be like, Hey, sun. Uh, hey, sun. Uh, explode. It wouldn't instantly explode. It would explode in, in 22 minutes. So... The sun was like ready to get to explode. And so the Ash Twin project sends information that the sun station fires, the Ash Twin project is being informed, the Ash Twin project tells the cannon to shoot. The cannon shoots 22 minutes in that direction. And then the sun explodes. The energy is being picked up by the Ash Twin project and they made this core to protect it. That's why it was so important that it was protected, right? So they they get the energy to initiate a black hole. A black hole from the data that's been received by their little data chamber with the masks, right? So they're taking, in this warp core, which would trigger the black hole, they take the data from the masks and send the data back 22 minutes. So the probe that's being sent out, the probe tracking module had a, a, had a statue. And so that statue would inform 22 minutes in this direction is nothing. 22 minutes in this direction is nothing. And so... Actually... What happened is that if they would receive the information that... Yeah, they, we found it. 
because it also said that the Ash Twin project, the memory modules would, in case of hardware f of, of, of failure, or when it succeeded, and I kept thinking that succeeded just meant that oh yeah, it's the it's the sun is triggering and the black hole and all the things have been said. no, it's when they found it. The Ash Twin, the the goal of the Ash Twin project is to find the eye, the location of the eye visually through the cannon or through the probe so when it succeeded was when the is is when the ash twin when this link thing starts so hmm so oh brain my freaking brain hurts so hmm it haven't it, it didn't happen. It, it it never happened. The sun never exploded. It just like in 22 minutes I will explode. Uh cannon shoots. Data being sent to Ash Twin. Fire the, the sun explodes to be able to send the data back. And because of the ne time the negative time interval they were supposed to get the information that, hey, we succeeded, turn it off. Don't make the sun explode. Uh, or, or, well, don't trigger it. Mm. Yeah, don't trigger it. That would be the, that, that would be the thing. Don't trigger it. Uh, so, they would get this information from the previous cycle and they'd be like, hey, hey, stop it, stop it, we found it. So they could turn off the sun station from ever shooting. Right? So it doesn't affect the entire solar, this entire, like, all the, the planets and everything. That's why it was so important for them to not disturb anything. Mm. So they're using this. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, I'm rambling. I'm sorry, but but using this tactic, they are basically peeking into the future 22 minutes. They are not sending. They are not looking back. They are looking into the future by doing this. So they are looking 22 minutes into the future, and by uh, by basically sending. Imagine that they're sending a probe into the future. They're sending the probe into the future. And then the probe is like, hey, hey, stop, don't do this, because in 22 minutes, the, this this is happening. So they got this, like, warning that, okay, stop it. And so because they were talking about how scary it would be if they were constantly aware of every cycle. If they would be constantly aware of what's happening every 22 minutes, this uh, memory module thing wouldn't trigger until the project succeeded or in case of malfunction but now our sun exploded by old age however it exploded by old age like what 300 something years ago because it's already sent out 9 million probes but the thing is that that really didn't really happen yet Because we are 22 minutes before the sun explodes right now. So have... we have... So we have... Okay, so... Unknowingly, we have repeated... 22 minutes... For 300 years. Holy shit! I mean... Okay, so... And because the project succeeded is why the memory stones activated, but not all of them are uh, working or there's no being nearby or there is... So the cycle... Uh, the cycle... Uh, there is There is no cycle. Because it didn't happen. 
there is no time loop. It doesn't exist because it never happened. We're peeking into the future continuously 22 minutes. You get it? Like... We're not in a time loop. We are... Continuously right now, 22 minutes before the sun naturally explodes, which triggered the Ash Twin project, which it shouldn't have done. We... We're dead. We are... We're dead. We are... Dead? And... We were... They were wiped by this ghost matter. And the reason we weren't was because... The stone that they excavated, what is it called? They, well, the materials they took from Timber Hearth to build the capsuling for Ash Twin Project. That capsule was supposed to protect from a freaking supernova. I think it would protect from the ghost matter. So our little four-eyed ancestors that was crawling in the water underground where we did our uh, COG thing, this, where we did this, there was like the glitter on the wall. It's the same glittery thing that was in here. So that probably protected our race from the ghost matter. Do you see what I mean, right? This, this hasn't, it hasn't happened. We are just getting the information ahead of time because you found it, huh? Probe 9 million something found it. That's why it was triggered and that's why the coordinates probably won't change. Either. Because the reality, it hasn't happened. It hasn't happened. They only needed to look into, quote, one future. Where the eye is constantly standing still. Because this hasn't happened yet. So it's not moving from the different positions or it's not moving at all. Because in this reality, the one reality we're continuously going through, that hasn't happened. The eye hasn't moved. Because in this... In this future is always the same. Which would also explain why the cannon is always exploding and why the tracking module is always being pulled down by the same whirlpool to the center of Big Blueby. Because those aren't factors we can change. But so here's a question then. <clears throat> I'm guessing there's different ways to end this game now. It's sort of making it sort of clear. Um, we need to find the vessel, I feel. That's what I want to do. That's the biggest question mark. But I'm guessing that one of the endings could just be like remove the, the core and just go and sit some gr grill some marshmallows. Accept the fates because it, it's already sort of happened. The sun is dead. Um, that would probably be one. But so here's what I'm thinking, if we would be... How would the quantum moon react to this? The quantum moon would not... ...break. Since the... Since the consciousness of solemn that I don't count... Ex yeah. By the way, sol, sol, is, means, it means sun in Swedish. Sol, S-O-L. Um, but so her... her, her Consciousness is trap. Oh, sorry, hit the microphone. Her consciousness is traveling with the moon, not her physical body, because that died when ghost matter hits. She was on the moon, but since since she was observing the moon, her consciousness stayed, or well, basically everything that is touching it becomes quantum. So her sort of spirit. 
became quantum. Would it travel to the eye? If we died from the supernova, would it travel to the eye, the moon, or would the moon be destroyed since it's quantum? Basically, hit your right. Uh, I need to take a break from this. <laughs> from this session! Oh my god. I don't know if anything of what I said now made any sense to you, but it. Hmm. That sort of makes sense to me. Yeah. We're sending me and Gabro and the probe into the future. That's basically what's happening. We're not here right now. It's just our... It's just our consciousness that's here. So, guys, leave a like, a comment. Um, it's so nice to read them. I'm always so happy whenever I post uh, anything and someone left a comment, I'm like, yay! <laughs> um, so, continue doing that. It makes me happy. See you guys next time. Bye!